Fucking fantastic. I'm with that. <laughs> we, in a minute, we're going to line all of all, So we bought, I don't know, nine Porsches? Yeah. Something like that. Anyway, we thought, wouldn't it be fun, because we're a bit nerdy like this, to line them up in age order. And uh, considering we've got a 2.7 RS from the 70s, mine's number three. Number three in the line. <laughs> After the 997. Which means it's a modern classic, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Is the, How is, is that? The, is the possible? touring is the touring older than yours? No, the touring is newer than mine. It's the same. So you want the same yeah, car, third, yeah, but it arrived yeah. like a year after mine. So, <laughs> yeah. So hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Porsche Perth, and today we are back to the good old-fashioned vlogging road trip days, and we are taking none other than ten very special Porsches on a very special road trip through the Scottish Highlands. But the most exciting thing about that is that I'm able to drive every single one of these cars over the next few days. And there's a really special reason as to why I'm able to do that. So what we thought we'd do is line up in age order all of the cars and give you a brief overview of why this is gonna be so cool. Starting with this 1970 2.7 RS. Yes, that's actually here. I can't believe those words are leaving my mouth. And you're probably wondering, hold on a minute, how are you gonna be able to drive all of these cars? Well, we're really excited to finally announce after months of chats and planning uh, that we have partnered officially with Chubb Insurance and First Point as the broker of Chubb Insurance, which their policy allows me, once I'm insured, or you, if you're insured on this specific policy, to be able to drive any of these cars without having to phone up. You must have been on that road trip where you're like, oh mate, can I try your car? And then you have to spend an hour on the phone to the insurance broker and they want 50 quid for the day. None of that. Also, it allows you to be covered on any car comprehensively, which is incredible. So that is how we're going to be able to activate this. We're taking these up to the Scottish Highlands. Magic. This is kind of tripping me out because my Gen 2 991 is the third oldest in a lineup of three cars, one from the 70s. How has that happened so soon? Anyway, uh, 997 RS 4 litre. To have these two icons parked next to each other is a treat. Last of the Metzger engines, 500 horsepower. It's a raw, pure driver's car. It even has Lexan windows. That's right, the rear glass house isn't glass, it's plastic, which is the ethos of why it's so lightweight. And on this journey, we'll share with you all of the different driving traits of these cars. Uh, people who aren't familiar, if you've just joined the channel, thank you and welcome. This is one of the longest standing cars on the channel. It's my uh, 991 Gen 2 manual GT3. It was originally crayon from factory or chalk if you're out in Europe. And uh, we took it to Logic and had it resprayed with peelable paint in a color which we mixed ourselves there with Cameron from Logic. Cameron is also on this uh, trip, so we're going to be spending some time with him, and he's going to be analyzing his work to see how it how it stands up on a very heavy, intense road trip. So as well as the ducktail and the custom paint from Logic, we also had a JCR titanium exhaust fitted to it as well. So up here in the Scottish Highlands, stirring that box, it's going to sound unbelievable. Speaking of Tourings, 991 Gen 2 Touring, and this is where that project started. We had we had these cars parked next to each other right here at Porsche Perth, in fact, um, a few months back, and I thought, man, the profile of this thing looks good. Instead of going full touring on that, we put the ducktail on it to make it this sort of heritage touring vibe, but this is where it all started. So we're taking this too. It'll be interesting to back to back these two cars on effectively the same roads to see how it feels, but great to have this icon here. And as the channel is supported by Michelin, they have provided us their 992 Carrera wrapped in the Michelin livery. How cool will it be to have this as a sort of semi support car on the trip? Super excited and up in the Scottish Highlands, this livery is gonna pop. All right, on to some different categories of Porsches. This is a brand new, fresh off the production line GT4. Now this belongs to our friend Nick from Vortens. If you followed our Aston Martin DBX journey, Vortens is the company that makes Aston Martin's badges. I mean, for decades. Nick's just picked up his new GT4. And we thought, you know what? You need to come up to Scotland and stretch its legs. It still has the running in mileage taking place right now. Five yeah. car yeah, yeah. garage, right? Nick quickly made it six. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> so it was, what was it? We said um, GT3 manual. Yeah. Uh, Vanquish S. Hold oh, on. What was when he says we, no, sorry, this is we. his lineup. This is mine. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> this is what did we say? Uh, Range Rover SV. 
S okay. was probably a thing. Okay, yeah. And then we argued over... No, um, uh, would you have an RS6 over a Range Rover? I tell you what, that purple one behind, I, know, I would is, I would do. That is <laughs> serious. That, that, that is yeah. so nice. Yeah. That's just changed my mind. I think yeah. it's gonna. I think we'll scrap the range. So scrap you the range. so bounce the range for the for that yeah, purple yeah, yeah, RS6. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. Dumping the range over. Okay. It was so nice while it lasted. TDF. <laughs> oh, TDF. Yeah, TDF. TDF. GT3 manual. Which generation GT3 manual? F12 TDF. What? RS6 manual GT3. Yes. I'm gonna go 991 Gen 2. Okay. Vanquish S. Oh, Vanquish S. Vanquish S. Okay. Vanquish S and five, which is seven six five LT Spider. Seven six five L two Spider, yeah. It's not bad that. Yeah, it's not bad that. I'm gonna that. I'm gonna swap that Vantage yeah. for the manual DBS. Right. Not gonna buy yeah. it at all. Done. That'll do. We also have a brand new, and I mean brand new, this arrived and just had its PDI, its pre-delivery inspection here at Porsche Perth. Stripes on the roof. That's the first time I've seen this Turbo S cab. So the stripes which come off the bonnet also continue in the weave of the fabric of the roof. The detail's fantastic. It's the first time I've seen that and it looks unbelievable. So it's gonna be great to have that on here. We have a second Turbo S cab right here as well. And then Jet Green 992 Manual GT3 Touring. It's just unreal. Gold wheels, Jet Green, and check this out. To match, and it's very subtle, but to match with the gold wheels on the outside, there is a contrast, almost bronzy gold stitch on the inside. It's absolutely stunning. And I know I say this every video, pretty sure the camera's not doing it justice. Unbelievable. Now, you're probably wondering, why is there a Panamera e-hybrid on the end of the line. It should probably be halfway down there somewhere. Well, you're right, but why we stud this out is that we want to say a massive thank you to Porsche Great Britain. This is an official Porsche car, uh, and they have sent it down to accompany us on our trip as the support car because there's not a great deal of baggage space in there. So a big thank you to those guys. We'll be taking some great photos and content, and I just can't wait to see this in the lineup of these things here. We couldn't really think of a more appropriate support car. So the irony of it is, this is in this weather, it's probably gonna be the, the most capable cars. All right, so this is it. The road trips are gonna be full vlog style, run and gun. Can't wait to share that with you. It feels like we're getting back to the roots, which is really exciting. And if you're interested in this incredible Chubb insurance policy, you've got to go through a broker like First Point. These aren't available on price comparison sites. It's a very specialist thing. Uh, so the links are in the description below. It just saves a lot of hassle and it opens up a lot of doors. If, like us, you've got a great group of friends who like going on road trips and you just want to chop and change cars, you can just go and do it, enjoy everything without having to worry, am I covered? Have I made the right phone calls? Here you go, Frank, take the keys, let's hit it. As always, thanks for watching. For this one, be sure to subscribe because the road trip content is gonna follow off this. I just thought it would be great to introduce all of the cars before we get out on the uh, road and uh, look forward to sh sharing some good old road trip content with you soon. See you next time. Ciao.